See, when you obey him and you're abiding in him, you don't need any false doctrine of once saved, always saved to give you a false security. That doctrine was only manufactured to minister to carnal Christians that don't obey God. Because when you don't obey him, you don't have the, the witness of your spirit. And so you're scared about your salvation. We should be. You're out of fellowship with God. We're loved by God the same way God loves Jesus. Then he said, abide in my love. Remain in it. Now, stay with me. He's, what he's saying is don't go in and out. Don't get blessed. I feel the love on, on Sunday and then live compromising all week. Don't watch stuff that you shouldn't be watching. Don't say things you shouldn't say. Don't, don't do that. He's saying, stay in my love. We were made for this. To not live in the love of God is to be a fish out of water. He's saying, I love you. The same way the Father loves me, stay in my love. Yes. Stay there. Don't go in and out. And then he's going to tell us how. If you keep my commandments, you'll stay in my love. Just as I've kept my Father's commandments and stay, remain in his love. So the way to stay in the Lord, so you, so now there are many people, i I started in ministry over 44 years ago. Been pastoring 31 years. And I have my own weaknesses and my own challenges as a, as a man. That I know I've experienced myself and counseling and praying and talking to people. Many people have a, an issue with this. I don't feel the love of God. I don't feel loved. You know, sometimes I do every now and then. Can I tell you something? Do what this says. Commit your life to radical obedience. Amen. Start obeying the Lord. The reason you're not feeling his love is because you're not abiding in his love. You're not abiding because you're not keeping his commandments. The reason you're not on fire and love to worship God is because you don't obey him. I have to tell you the truth. You don't obey him. There's compromise. You're not loving God with all. The first commandment is love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. If you don't do that, you're not going to feel his love. You, gotta, you don't have to be perfect. You just got to be wholehearted. So you say, man, I, wanna, I want the love of God, the tangible love. of You'll have it if you'll start obeying him. Read the Bible and do whatever it says. That's what Jesus said. He said... If you keep my commandments as I kept my Father's commandments, you'll remain in my love. Obedience will cure a whole lot of counseling and therapy. Some people just don't need to be counseled for 10 weeks. They just need to be in love, instructed. You have not yet become a disciple. You have to make up your mind if you're going to deny yourself and take up the cross and follow him. Because until you get that settled, you'll never be a disciple. See, all our issues down the road of Christians, I need counseling, I need therapy, I need help, I need this. It's because in the beginning, you never agreed to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow him. Come on, come on. You just wanted the blessings. You just want to be saved and have blessings. God loves you, but if you want the, the life of Christ, you have to deny yourself, take up your cross and start obeying him. Hebrews 5, 9, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. So Jesus said, you want to stay in my love? Obey me. We can't separate loving God from obeying him. Here's what John the Beloved wrote in his epistle. He said, and this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. Here's what Jesus said in John 14, 21 and John 14, 23. Whoever keeps my commandments, that's the one that loves me. And my father and I will love him and I will manifest myself to him. Verse 23, whoever keeps my commandments... We, my father and I will come and make our abode. That's remaining in the love of God. That's all. Oh, when God makes his abode, you can feel his presence. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah. I feel loved. I feel God is with me. See, when you obey him and you're abiding in him, you don't need any false doctrine of once saved, always saved to give you a false security. 
That doctrine was only manufactured to minister to carnal Christians that don't obey God. Because when you don't obey them, you don't have the, the witness of your spirit. You don't have the buoyancy. You don't feel the love. You don't have the presence. And so you're scared about your salvation. We should be. You're out of fellowship with God. So men come up with a false doctrine of once saved, always saved to give you a false consolation to replace obedience. Obey and you'll feel the love of God. We can't separate loving God from obedience. Amen. 